You're not good friends with Taylor Swift. I would not say we're good friends. Gwyneth Paltrow was asked in court if Taylor Swift inspired her request to seek $1 in damages for her 2016 ski crash trial. The Oscar winner testified on Friday in connection with a lawsuit stemming from a collision at Deer Valley Resort. Now retired optometrist Terry Sanderson's attorney claims Paltrow crashed into Sanderson on a beginner slope, causing him to break four ribs and sustain permanent traumatic brain injury. Sanderson is reportedly seeking more than $300,000 in damages from the actress. Paltrow denies all allegations and is countersuing Sanderson, alleging he ran into her and is asking the jury to award her $1 in symbolic damages and have her attorney fees covered. During her testimony, Sanderson's attorney questioned if her request for $1 in damages is related to her friendship with Taylor Swift. And, but remember me asking you, is it symbolic? And you said, yes, it is. Yes. Okay. And I asked you as well, well, you learned about that through Taylor Swift because she asked for $1 in symbolic damages, right? And I think I said at that point I had not been familiar with it, but I since am. Now you are. Yes. But at the time, a couple of years ago in 2020, you didn't know anything about Taylor Swift's $1 symbolic damage lawsuit? Are you good I, friends with Taylor Swift? No. Overruled? You're not good friends with Taylor Swift. I would not say we're good friends. We are friendly. I take my kids. I've taken my kids to one of her concerts before, but... We don't talk very often. Both Paltrow and Sanderson agree the collision happened, but have conflicting points of view on who crashed into whom. Sanderson claims that Paltrow crashed into him and then skied away with her group without getting him medical care. But on Friday, while testifying, the actress claimed it was Sanderson who crashed into her and that she did stay to make sure he was okay. So because I was hit by Mr. Sanderson and he was at fault, I assumed that Eric, who was our ski instructor, who was there at the time, who was overseeing the event, he said, I'm going to leave all of your information. And he said, you should go ski down because my kids were waiting for me. The Iron Man star said she was with her now husband, Brad Falchuk, her and ex Chris Martin's two kids, Apple and Moses, as well as Brad's two kids at the time of the collision and claimed she was not engaging in, quote, any risky behavior at the time of the crash. She also described what she believed happened leading up to the crash, continuing to claim that Sanderson crashed into her. My daughter was down the hill. My son was to my left, so I was skiing. My eyes were not fixated only on my son okay. when Mr. Sanderson skied directly into my back. When, when Moses is saying, Mommy, Mommy, watch me, mm -hmm. that's who you were looking at when you were direct when when you were skied directly into your back I do not recall Moses saying mommy mommy watch me on the ski slope later on during her testimony she admitted she was upset after the collision occurred and yelled at Sanderson and claims he apologized to her and said he was okay I I don't remember if I started yelling at him while I was on the ground I remember pushing away because I was very upset and it was still very strange to me what had happened. Um, and I pushed down the hill and I turned around and I said, and I yelled at him. Okay. I said, you skied directly into my effing back. And he said, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Right. She also explained why she did not ask about Sanderson's condition after the collision. I think you have to keep in mind when you're the victim of a crash, right, your psychology is not necessarily thinking about the person who perpetrated it. Okay. So the answer to my question is, no, no you did not inquire. I did not. During her testimony, Paltrow also claimed that she thinks the lawsuit against her is unfair. Is it true that you feel it's unfair that Mr. Sanderson has brought this case against you? I do. Paltrow's lawyer said in his opening statement that the trial should last about two weeks, and jurors will hear from about 20 witnesses, including doctors, ski instructors, Ms. Paltrow's husband, Brad Volchuk, and her children, 16-year-old son Moses and 18-year-old daughter Apple. Access Hollywood's legal contributor, Camille Vasquez, weighed in on Paltrow's trial earlier this week. 
and revealed what she thinks could sway the jury. This is really a he said, she said on the ski slopes. Access legal contributor Camille Vasquez feels the jury's verdict will come down to credibility. The jury's going to be looking at whether Gwyneth is telling the truth or Terry is telling the truth. Sanderson is suing Paltrow for over $3 million, telling today in a 2019 interview that he broke four ribs, suffered a concussion, and permanent brain damage when Paltrow hit him from behind in a ski accident in Deer Valley in 2016. She clobbered me hard in the back. I couldn't stop myself, couldn't break myself, and I just got crammed in the ground. Paltrow, who was skiing with her family, is countersuing for one dollar and attorney fees saying the opposite happened. He hit her. I think the fact that she's there, she's in trial, she's making a point, she's going to testify, her children will testify, her family is going to testify. I think it's a, it sends a message to the jury. But I think what's going to be more significant and potentially sway the jury a bit more is the independent third parties. So the witnesses like the ski patrol, those people are going to be independent. The jury's probably going to pay more attention to their testimony.